Alright guys, so say you want something more custom than the default font when you actually um, add type in. So you go over here to your panels option over here and you click the letter F, okay, for fonts. Then down here under regular, I would click the little folder icon. Um, my fonts, I, I mean, when I'm looking for the font that I've downloaded, like here's desktop, there's the Walt Disney font, and I could click that. And I could open the font. If you want to find your fonts on your um, actual hard drive, there is a hard drive right here. I click on that. I want to go to library and then fonts. Okay, and then these are all the fonts that I have. And then you have to select the correct one. I mean, it's not the best font management system that Blender has, but you would click the one that's the regular version of that font to go ahead and add it in there. Okay, and so then I would click open font. I'm going to just cancel that because I am i don't need that, but let's just test it out with the Walt Disney font. So I'm going to go to desktop, Walt Disney font. I'm just going to do the open type version. Click open. Okay, it's there. And look at that. It has changed the font to the Walt Disney version of Blender. I don't like that, so I'm just going to file and I'm going to go to Let's revert, because I didn't save it, so it should revert. File. Oh, come on now. Revert. Okay. So now I've gotten rid of that, and then I can just go back, go to add, add text, and then it's the default um, version. Because, But that's just to show you that you can add fonts of your own choice in there. 